Can I get under that? Around it? something over there. It's one of those ceiling crawlers. Probably just gonna avoid it. Man, I can't see shit. Not worth fighting, not worth fighting, not worth fighting. Sliding tile puzzle. Well, not quite a sliding tile puzzle. It looks like there's only three options for each one of these tiles. Uh, no, four options. It's weird. When it turns, it sort of looks like it's got three sides, but actually has four. So yeah, just four options per thing. Almost got it. I think I got these two pieces up here to do. Got a sandcastle? What's wrong with this? Oh, oh, that's tricky. This foot here. This foot right here is the same as this foot on the right. So these need to be <laughs> different feet, obviously. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Blackboard eraser. Erase the lock. Open the... Thing. And another poem fragment. Nowhere left for you to run, every fault laid bare in the open, along with your skin splayed out from within, once the monster has his fun. Remember, I think this poem is about, at least this first fragment, is about somebody who abused kids. Right? Poor little Stephen Skelter, even the chaplain won't forgive you, forever lies your pleading cries, but Susie knows you felt her. Oh, fuck. I think there's another one. Yes. Actually, why not just leave? Why fight? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, the head on my weapon already fell off. I need to grab another one. Oh, the melody's still playing great. Was there an axe upstairs? Yes, there was. Hey, wait a second. I just went out to the hallway, out from the theater. This is new. These beds weren't here before. Things are changing. I think I'm pretty hurt, yeah. Use a med kit. How many do I have? Only got three, and now two. I don't actually remember where that locked thing is. I think it's upstairs. Normally I would cut this out, but I'm feeling like something might happen along the way since things seem different. Yep. Please follow me. Please don't fall on my head. I'm just gonna run past you, okay? Damn it! I 
think it's in here. Right? No? Fuck, it's not in here. No, this is the creepy doll room. And this is just a dead end. Okay, I don't actually know where the right room is. Hi. Uh. Oh, it's in here. Yes. I'm assuming it can't follow me in here, I hope. I was wondering where to go next. Here's your answer, beckoning me forwards. So yeah, Ch Charlie is 100% our kid. Did they just lock me in here? Mm-hmm. Can still hear the monster outside. Wait a second. Oh. I thought maybe I'd been in here, but nope. I just saw something to pick up on the table, so I definitely haven't. St. Maria's Institution. Practically everything blocked out up there. Subject, preliminary psychological evaluation. A new patient arrived today, named... Aged... Comes to us with a number of interesting psychological characteristics. He displays marked marked impairment in the use of a number of nonverbal behaviors, most notably eye contact, facial expressions, and body posture. Something something shows no interest in participating in simple social play, preferring instead solitary activities. Though something maintains adequate speech ability, he shows marked impairment in his ability to initiate and or sustain a conversation with others. Furthermore, Da, 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 engages in the repetitive use of idiosyncratic language as well as repetitive mannerisms. Something something also has a persistent preoccupation with parts of objects. Further evaluation is required. Respectfully submitted, Dr. Chloe Zane, attending psychiatrist. I wonder who this is referring to. I don't think me. And I don't... Probably not the person that killed Charlie. Persistent preoccupation with parts of objects. Does that apply to anything I've seen so far? The only thing I can think of is that it does seem like somebody is maybe preoccupied with those dolls. Because it looks like those dolls have been created, right? The, the head seems pretty fucked up and custom. Hmm. the fuck? Oh hey, it's got physics. Oh, 
Oh, we're behind one of the locked places. Oh, it's the first radio we found in a long time. I mean, we're not going to hear the DJ, right? They disappeared. Jesus Christ, that sounds like... You remember that horrible, uh, like, audio file that they play back? near the beginning of Event Horizon. It's like a transmission from hell or something like that. So that just reminded me of. St. Maria's Institution, Institute rather, psychological evaluation, patient da, 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 has shown no deviation from his extreme social degenerative traits, despite numerous applications of electroshock therapy. Sessions in the isolation tank were also unsuccessful. I feel more aggressive methods should be pursued, and I would like to set up a meeting in the near future to discuss them. Sincerely, Dr. Chloe Zane. Hmm, got some Latin down here. Agnes Day, Quitolis... Cotta Mundi. Okay, it seems to be a religious thing. Uh, according to Wikipedia, the article is Agnes Day Liturgy. Uh, the Agnes Day is the invocation to the Lamb of God sung or recited during the Fraction of the Host. I don't know what the Fraction of the Host is, but the words Agnes Day Quitalis Picata, that is what it says there, yeah. Seems to translate to Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Yeah. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That's what it says on the paper. Oh, we're back here just on a totally new area, right? This is the area around where we opened the thing with the chandelier? Maybe not. Oh, no, no, this isn't the area with the chandelier. This is like the very beginning when we first came into the monastery. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, fresh one. Could maybe walk along here. Never mind. Hmm? Holy shit! Okay. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Hmm. What was that to pick up? Some st I don't want to pick that shit up. Uh. It's a map. Let's just take a couple hours to read this. Everything pauses. There's a restroom nearby. Good, because I just pissed my pants. Uh. Shit. Where do I go? Ah, ah fuck you. Ah. Right. I forgot that's a thing. I'm so used to that in the game signifying you can't go in this door. <laughs> hmm. Same way as Institute. They didn't fill out the from, to, patient's name, or subject. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Something, the purpose of this letter is to offer our sincerest condolences for the tragic loss of your son on May 2nd during his recent surgical procedure. 
Despite the best efforts by the attending surgical staff, extenuating medical complications impeded all efforts to revive him. We would also kindly remind you that the surgical procedure was legally authorized in the agreement you signed when your son was first admitted into our facility. Regretfully, Dr. Chloe Zane. What is going on? So I'm pretty sure this is addressed to um, Murphy Pendleton and their wife. I don't think they've said their name yet. And the son would be uh, Charlie, obviously, but they were admitted to this place and did some sort of a surgery that they ended up dying during? I, see, I thought Charlie was killed by that person that we killed in the shower. Right? The person that sexually assaulted a kid and then killed them? I'm trying to mesh these two things together. I think we're missing a piece of the puzzle. Silent little artifact. Looks like Pat in a Pierre's van. This is... I think this might be on the third floor? That we couldn't get to before? Ah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hmm? Right, so that monster is, I think, the monster we need to use the Boogeyman Rhyme to, uh, get to go away. Not gonna waste my time with you. had a kind of out there thought I mean what if they were admitted here for some reason and then maybe the doctor a doctor who worked here is the one who was the person we killed in the shower and uh, assaulted Charlie sexually assaulted them and then killed them in, during surgery to cover it up or something like that but that doesn't really fit with the other stuff we've seen because we've seen like images of a kid being kidnapped right really heavy suggestions that they've been kidnapped and then the whole kite thing? Almost like that's when an accident happened? You know, running after Charlie with the kite? Ooh, the wheelchair's back. Oh, it goes... Huh. Where did it come from and where did it go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> I want to go the back way before forwards. Like, this looks like forwards. Yeah, I just saved. Let's go back. Ooh. A 
Yeah, there's a whole lot here. Surely this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Ah. Maybe you come back here later. To, like, get out or something? Maybe that's the exit? Any dolls hiding in the showers? Seems like a very dull place. Another mirror. I wonder if I can get more self -reflec reflection, pun intended through this mirror. Right? Like the last one in the bathroom triggered a little thing. Hmm. Nothing here. Alright. Back upstairs. Architecturally, this bothers me. What a weird little nook. Psychological evaluation. After numerous attempts utilizing the latest in experimental treatment conventions, I feel that patient something something has shown no recuperative progress. In fact, I find that da -da -da has indeed regressed and that any further treatment of this nature, regardless of intensity and or frequency, will be of no help in curing his strange social disorder. My recommendation is that a full frontal lobotomy be conducted at the soonest opportunity. Dr. Chloe Zane. The fuck? I'm trying to think of the significance of this place. Like, maybe that kid who died? Here? During surgery? I'm sure some sort of barbaric surgery, given their practices here. Maybe that's not Charlie. Be an awful coincidence, but maybe that's all unrelated. I don't know. Oh, great. ray machine. What do I need to x-ray? One of these bodies? Oh yeah, they've been opened up. No.
Hey, this is the best look we're ever gonna get at these damn things. Mmm. I always thought they had sharp claws. But it looks more like their hands are just sort of stubs or bandaged over, and then they just have, like, very rough, sharp, uh, pegs or, or huge nails or something just hammered through their hands, and that's what they use? So creepy. Yeah. Okay, I can push him, right? Yes. Okay. Probably not the one we're looking for, I guess. God, this is really creepy. Making you search these bodies knowing that they're alive and that they might attack you at any moment. Oh, there we go. I got a key. Yeah, now I gotta get it out of you. <sighs> Stronger vibration indicate the person's vulnerable by hitting it. I'll have to try to find them by using left. Oh god, this is weird. Okay. Oh, there we go. Something. Bloody key. And... Oh, poem fragment number three? Take heed, it's not too late. Mistakes needn't haunt you forever. Though you have regret, you can't just forget. You alone decided your fate. It's the rest of the rhyme. Wonder if that kid will let me through the door now. So what does this unlock? Internal memo. Notice to all staff, please note that the western courtyard is currently locked. That paper-eating neurotic brat went one step too far and swallowed the key. How in the world does this sort of thing happen so often? Anyway, he's scheduled for a procedure later this week, and I plan to rectify the matter at that time. Until then, please bear with the inconvenience of walking all the goddamn way around just to visit our medical wing. Roberta Blotch. Bloosh. Something. Paper-eating neurotic brat. Is that the one they've been having so much trouble with? Paper-eating neurotic brat. Oh, it's probably the... Yeah, it's gotta be the downstairs uh, door that was locked. Yeah, there we go. Jesus! I don't know where the boy is. Am I going to the right spot? Oh, I guess so.
Look out, it's... Get out of there! Come on! Poor little Steven Skelter. Uh, uh, even the chaplain uh, won't forgive you. For, uh, forever lies your pleading cries, but... But Susie knows you felt her shit. Duh. Duh. No more left for you. No more left for you to run. Uh, every every fault laid bare in the open. Duh. Leave him alone, damn it. No. Duh. Duh. Along with your skin splayed out from within. Uh, once the monster has his fun. Oh, God. Darling! Take heed. It's not too late. His um, mistakes needn't haunt you forever. He's just a kid, you son of a bitch. Though you have regret, you can't just forget. You alone decide your fate. drive you back to the command center and we'll call you later. where's my boy is he out there charlie charlie That was a really powerful scene. Once again, I really like what they're doing with the story. They're totally going against my expectations and just making this a lot more grim than I would expect, which makes it more interesting because, you know, the typical dramatic thing to do there would be the monster approaches the kid and you try to stop them and they're just about to die, you know, like the axe is about to come down on their head and then, oh, the thing that they just said, the boogeyman rhyme worked and they disappear and everything's okay at the very last second, you know, like the timer for the bomb being diffused with, with two seconds to go. That's a cliche thing to do, but no. The boogeyman rhyme didn't do anything. And they just killed the kid, which apparently was Charlie. I didn't know that. Yeah, they did that with the cop, where we tried to save them, but they fell anyway. It did that with that person whose name I forgot who jumped off at the top of Devil's Pit. And it did it here. Try to save people, and it doesn't work. It's really interesting. This game's really damn good. Oh, I tried to go back here, by the way. Uh, none of these doors can open. Oh, boy. <laughs> 